Hi, I'm Don Matthews, studio head here at Ninja Theory in Cambridge, UK. We're now in the final months of development on Senua Saga Hellblade 2, and the team is working hard to bring you an unforgettable journey into Senua's unique world and her battle for survival, where we have once again combined high fidelity and immersive presentation with a shorter, narrative-led experience that focuses on the things that we really care about, and that we hope you care about too. Senua is back with a new quest. She wants to stop the Vikings who raided her village right at their source, in Iceland. But not just her quest has changed. Senua herself has grown since the first Hellblade. She's made peace with her past and is no longer in such fear of her visions and voices. While the Furies are still her constant companions, she encounters new people along the way, some of which will value her unique perspective, and others who will reject it. Little by little, this settlement became my tribe. In the game, Senua arrives in 10th century Iceland on the trail of the Vikings who have been enslaving her people. In the story, we're trying to be as faithful to history as we can up to a point, establishing a solid framework and then building more surreal elements on top. Senua will face up to giants who have plunged the land into chaos and which in turn has seen the rise of the Joiga, a violent threat that has swept through the settlements that she'll discover. Senua will make new enemies and also new allies who will come to see her unique perspective as a beacon of hope. And she'll discover along with us how this viewpoint can have its advantages. Senua is a Celtic warrior who experiences psychosis, seeing things that other people don't, hearing voices and having unique beliefs about the world around her. To bring Senua's perspective of the world to life in a truthful way, we have once again worked closely with Professor Paul Fletcher at the University of Cambridge, as well as people with lived experience of psychosis. What does that mean? What does that mean? It's terrifying. Players will find themselves traversing beautiful and hostile environments seeking answers from patterns and signs that Senua sees in her own unique way, and battling through encounters with enemies that will push Senua to her limits. On Saga, we've taken everything to the next level. With a new motion capture space, a bigger stage team, a stunt crew and a new cast, we spent a lot of time planning the motion capture shoots, thinking of what events would be good to bring into this fight. Like, how can we make this fight feel different from the previous fight? We have all new combat for the sequel. One of our key goals was the ability to actually tell a story throughout it. It does feel very different from the first game, but it's very brutal and you're very invested in it. Senua isn't a superhero. She's fighting for survival, and we want the player to feel her struggle in every step of her journey. We want the player to always feel like they just scraped through, just survived it. Mel knows Senua better than anyone, better than I do. Her instincts are amazing, and she really doesn't need much help from me. On stage, our main focus is storytelling. So I get to watch the actors and see all the beautiful expressions on their faces. And then I have to wait a little while and then I get to see that all again in game, in costume, on location, everything. It's, it's a great experience, a great process. Every discipline in the studio is unified in achieving a deep level of immersion to help suspend your disbelief and pull you into Senua's story. We were lucky enough to do a few reference gathering trips in Iceland. You have to be there. The, the sense of scale, everything is incredible. And you see a scene or you see a small section of the game and you're like, yeah, that, that works, that's amazing. Senua experiences reality differently and a part of this manifests in the voices she hears. She will collapse. She will collapse. 
These voices come to life through binaural audio, which provides a good representation of this type of auditory hallucinations. As we focus in immersion, uh, binaural audio is perfect for this because through headphones, you surround yourself in a three-dimensional space. In the first game, we only apply to the voices that Senua listens in her head. In this game, through a spatial audio technology and uh, some extra little things within the game, there is music that is binaural. Every single sound has the potential to be binaural, so everything is spatialized around you, and it's a very beautiful experience. What will we do to her? What will we do to us? Music is a strange language in the sense that it speaks to our emotions fast and deep. It's not only about quality, it's about personality. So when you listen to Hellblade, you know it's Hellblade. On the music, we are working with Heilung, which for me is a personal privilege because I really admire them. We feel their craft, their depth, their meaning in the music. It really connects with our game and elevates it to something really special. We are also working with a heavy metal singer, throat singers, and our very own Furies. They sing so beautiful, and we add that binaural touch of music. So this all creates a very immersive and a very special and unique experience. Our mission here at Ninja Theory is to craft life-changing art with game-changing tech. And that's our aim in Senua Saga Hellblade 2, is to not only see where Senua goes next, but to deliver something really meaningful for our players. My hope is that they will really connect to Senua as a character, and even if they can't really relate to what she's going through, maybe they know someone that relates to that character and they can then understand that person better. Well, I don't want to sound cheesy, but in a way I'm Senua, right? She exists and doesn't. It exists through all of her work, through every ninja. So. We all are Senua, and we are creating this character that grows and grows and grows and grows and keep growing and keep changing. So that makes it real. I'm so proud of the love, care, and passion our team here at Ninja Theory are putting into Senua's saga Hellblade 2. Our hope is to not only create a game that is great to play, but to craft an experience that leaves you thinking and feeling. From our combat gameplay through to our action set pieces, from our cinematic scenes to our puzzle solving, everything is crafted in service of Senua's journey. A journey that you can embark on on May 21st.